explaining what else he got. Uh, we, are, we, um, are, we are unmuted, just FYI. I know. All right. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. I think um, you got a hat. Uh, I wear some hats. I was just like, I was out today and I was just like, I just want to wear a hat and I just got, never bothered to take it off because especially since I get like hat hair, it's like, eh, it's like whatnot. I'll just play a little bit. But also, hey, right. hey, Kasumi. Thanks, Carl, for the lurk. Uh, hello, random John Smith. Um, stick Is around. Carl lurking in the uh, Kyle's stream right now. Uh, I don't know if he is or not. Uh, and also, hey, Kay, how are you doing? How is everyone doing today? I don't know if he is or not. Uh, I was on there a little bit, and I don't think he is. Uh, he's been busy doing whatever he's doing right now. Seems like That's he's been fine. pretty busy. Don't mess with mess with uh, doing well. I'm doing I'm doing fine. Um, I really just got really frustrated after last night. <sighs> Stupid Comcast ended up ruining my entire stream. So let's see how well it goes today. Stupid uh, Comcast is just ruining everything. Yeah, basically. Uh, don't mess with Blazer and his Twitch staff. <laughs> don't have a staff. I just have a lot of people who will volunteer and help around. I was going to say, I don't think any of us consider ourselves staff. Nope. I better be doing volunteer work. Yeah, because if you're staff, I'll have to pay you. And I don't want, I, I don't have the money and I don't want to pay my friends to do things. No, thank Speaking you. of staff and funny things that work has popped up, is uh, Amazon's doing its thing called the offer again. Yeah, which I actually took when I left. So, so you can no longer go work for any of the Amazons. Nope. And I'm happy about that. Wait, what does the volunteer thing do? Basically, um... you sign... A release that says you can no longer go work for any Amazon ever. Yep. Amazon basically blacklists you. Okay, why did they do that? Why? I chose I chose to take that way out. Yeah, no, I'm just saying like why would they allow people to do that? Also, hey Craig. Down Craig. they're trying to uh dab uh, oh. words. What are words? They're trying to down uh down stuff. Downgrade their stuff. Makes sense. I don't know what the proper word is. I'm trying to think. What would you say the proper word is? Dang it, I can't hear my Elgato right now. I have no idea. Mike, any ideas? Um of a word I'm trying to think of. Why they... Wait, hold on. What, what was the question again? Also, Craig, yeah, what, no problem. What's the word I'm trying to think of that... Uh, I got... This is a PAX they, hat. Basically telling um, like, people, PAX. we're not firing you, we just want you to leave. I think it was like a two, three years oh, ago when they got this hat. It's a uh, PAX hat. There we go. Basically. And I, li I like the little snap hat. I mean, the payout. But these things I are expensive. 2000 these snap hats are like I was 30, there for two $40 dollars uh, for with PAX. Two years. Two years for also, two yeah, years. I also got the Twitch hoodie yeah. from PAX as well. Uh, these I things are expensive, even though it's a simple I design. The structure of Amazon. So that's such a Personally. simple. I like the company I'm with now. Hey, that's I'm fair. dealing with freaking trading cards. I don't have to be worrying about anything else work for dude now don't say that on stream if you don't want anybody knowing yep i don't care i work for a place called com c um that sounds obscure i don't know if anybody knows what that is com c is a uh is a plat is a actual platform hmm. Or a website oh, that whatever. you can go on well, to, it, and it's called comc.com. You guys want, you can do, you can check it out. We do, we sell singles. Um, we do all sorts of trading cards, whether it's Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, um, baseball, basketball, hockey. Nice. Yeah. 
Okay, like, I, I remember all, now. Um, I already repositioned everyone. Nick, what you're trying to do is going to be a pain in the ass, by the way. Yeah, I kind of forgot what you said. We help so sellers I'm gonna need your, sell oh, their wait. trading cards. Is it, oh, sorry. I had to, I had myself muted because I was explaining stuff. But, um, yeah, I kind of forgot what you said. Uh, but I, I do remember a little bit because I had to do, like, walk up to Rolf and then defeat him with Ike, I believe, or something like that. You have to walk up with Rolf, talk to Shinon with Rolf, then Ike has to go beat the snot out of Shinon. Yeah, that that's one of those, those things is just that uh, I'm going to have to think about this. This is probably going to take me a few tries. That oh, is, by the way... I'm... Oh, go so, ahead. Sorry. Uh, that's just a really obscure thing that the game barely told you once and expect you to remember for like seven chapters. 17. No, they told you about like chapter 11 or 12. Oh, really? Oh, okay. So, Nick, I'm holding a game in my hand that it's one that you have recently played not too long ago. Uh, give me a second. Can you guess? Uh, my GameCube controller died earlier. L button started working in the middle. That sucks. But luckily, with a lot of with GameCube controllers, you can find parts on like eBay and stuff for like really, really cheap, and it's easy to take off. So it's not that bad to like replace uh, Blazer with all the product placements, Twitch packs and Pepsi. Dude, if I get ever get like a product placement for like if I get sp sponsorship from uh, like Pepsi or like Sprite or whatever and all that stuff, I, I'll, it, it'll be it'll be one of the life. But also, hey, man, how you doing? Maybe one of these days we can get like a sponsorship to play a multiplayer game together and then it'll be fun. Uh, game that I played recently. So are you, uh, is it Zelda? World of Tanks. I never played that nope. recently. No, I'm saying sponsorship. Poor World of Tanks. I mean, I could technically, but um, I at least want to go with sponsorships that I personally like. I'll yeah, give you a hint. It's a Game Boy game. Shantae? No, it can't be. No. That thing is way too expensive. Speaking uh, of which... Pokemon TCG. Bingo. Why do you have that? I which bought one? it for ten bucks. Where did you even find that? Uh, that that game is so obscure for a lot of people that it's one of those games that it's uh not that hard to get for really cheap. I'm glad, glad you can fix the crate. Raid Shadow Legends, Tech Nomad. I'm not gonna get sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, even though they pay they pay like over a thousand dollars. Um, just because of I've seen so many of their ads, they are well enough sponsored. I'm not in desperate need of money. I'm not depending on this as a money way. AFK Arena. <laughs> no. Nick. Did I play that? By one? the way. Yep. I thought I'd make sure to mention on where I got it because I have a feeling I think you'd like the shop. What? It's a place called Al's ga uh, Video Game. Uh, I think it's Music, Games, and Video. Mm -hmm. It's a. It has a lot of like old school stuff. I'm talking like PlayStation One, uh, GameCube games. P they have Xbox games. They've got Xbox 360 games. And they have them for reasonably good prices. That's good. So if you ever get the chance, because I know you're a game collector, check that place out. It also has Wii games. Oh, uh, can you send me a Google Maps of that place? Because uh, I will forget it immediately. I uh, could definitely do that. Uh, I think I'm running over. I never thought I would... Uh, I would after 20 years of playing this game. No, I mean, pro controllers are still good, Crate. Like, in my opinion, pro controllers are still a really good controller. Uh, it's way better than a PS4 controller, I'll tell you that. Because of the D-pad. And the Nintendo Switch Pros? Yeah. And I think people prefer using that over the regular Joy-Cons. I know that much. Yeah, I mean, um... I, I like uh, I, I like the pro controller. Um, it, it's a little it's heavy. I mean, it's really expensive. But then again, a lot of controllers nowadays are super darn expensive. I think it's all right. It's it's not my absolute favorite. Um, I actually um, 
a simple thing because like I had I just got like the Xbox Series X with a controller and this is still the same Xbox One controller. One thing I really like about this one, it has like the little gr grooves, like little bumps at the uh, on the handles. So it feels really good. And so when I was playing this for a little bit and then switched over to my pro controller on the Nintendo Switch, it just ended up just like feeling really weird. That's like I just really like the grooves. You have a Series X? I do. Why did you buy that? Because I wanted a I wanted a new next gen console and plus I like backwards compatibility. I don't have a really Fair Xbox. Enough. I'm still holding out for a PS5 one day. I will get a PS5, but that's like one of those things is that there's no PS5 games I absolutely want, so I just holding off. Uh Ah, it's rainy. Hey, I'll use my frying pan as a trying pan. I can't really do Brock's voice. Uh let's see. I uh, think a lot of people can. It's like Hey, I have an uh, hey, I have an idea. I'll use my trusty frying pan as a frying pan. I don't have a frying pan near my place, so I'm not gonna go get a frying pan just for a one-off joke. You might. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. It's a better controller. Yeah, Pro Controller is definitely a, a better controller in the long port. What's Chant? Chris. Chant is dance. What does that mean? Uh, Raisin is your dancer. He can grant uh, characters an extra turn. Oh, okay. Uh, have uh, you played Raisin? Ghost Raisin, <laughs> while transformed, by the way, uh, can if you line persons up in his cardinal directions, can do four people at once. Wow. Actually, how uh, much health do you have? Oh. Uh, the bird. Yeah. Yeah. He's pretty good. I'm trying to see who what I want to go first. Gen F, I'll go first. See how that they do. He does. Oh, he does. It looks yeah, like a really she. Cool. I'm aware. Uh, I have not played Ghost of Tsushima. It is one of the games I do want in the end. Um, I got through Act One. Yeah, I, I. It looks really good. I do want to try it. And I do intend to get it at some point. Oh wow, that's a crit. If you uh, enjoy open world games and uh, murdering a bunch of people really fast, I buy that or Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just one of those games that I have yet to pick up due to the fact that, partly because uh, I uh, there's there there's a lot of games I want to play, and um. And then there's like it's also still a little expensive, so I'm wait I'm holding out on it till I find like a really good deal on it, and then, um, and then go go out to actually uh buy it. They next gen it by the way, so I do that too. Yep. At least Oscar and um, Mordecai can uh, take out the two from the back. Assassin's Creed has lost its charm for me. Nothing tops Assassin's Creed 2 or Brotherhood, in my opinion. I've seen Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood, and I, I'm going to be playing um, in Revelations, and I've seen all of one as well. And I do want to play God, a lot of Assassin's Creed play games. Revelations. Huh? Do not play Revelations. I mean, I've seen Revelations. That's a uh, little different. Absolute favorite Brotherhood. Uh, then Assassin's Creed Three. I still have the. I uh, still, the Hollow is really good though. I'm still gonna be playing. Uh, I have Assassin's Creed Three, Odyssey, and Origin. Not Odyssey. No, it, wait. You may have Odyssey. Is it the most recent one, Odyssey? No, no, the Valhalla, uh, but before, before which before just Valhalla. came out is Valhalla, but yeah, then Odyssey, the Spartan one. Yeah, actually, no, I, I have Origin and Odyssey, and then I'm, I'm gonna have uh, three. So I'm gonna be playing three, 
I want to play a little bit of Origins and then Odyssey to see how it is. So, and I have all, all other Assassin's Creed that I got for free. So, funny enough, it's also, like... if you can avoid playing one, don't play one. Go watch a playthrough of one if you're confused on anything. No, I've, I've, I've seen an entire playthrough of one for sure. Because I played one and oh my god, one is bad. What one's clunky like, control? When it is came weird. out, it's super cool and fun and great. And then it just outgrew itself really fast and it sucked. Yeah. And then there's all the buggy ones from like Unity to uh what? What was it? Unity's good. Just you have to look past the weirdness factor of its story. But it's not a bad one. One is really bad compared to the rest, is what Matt says. One aged poorly is the problem. Yeah, I, I, I've tried a little bit of one, like, um, not too recently, but like when it, when I got my hands on it, like back when, um, what is it? Uh, like probably like a few years ago and then just like I played it and my God, the clunky controls do not work in this today and age. Yeah, now my, I will always say one was a good game. When it came out, it did not age well, is the problem. Hmm. And that's just the unfortunate problem of it being the first of its kind. Yep. So I cannot technically blame the game. I mean, I'm, I, I, I heard Origins Odyssey were really, really good. I've played both. I own both. Uh, they're okay. In uh, terms Valhalla of... is doing really good in my opinion. Yeah, that's what I heard also Valhalla. I know that Mike has been streaming it a little bit too. Mm-hmm. Mike, would you agree Valhalla is really good? Yes. Mike, where are you in the game? Try not to spoil it. Yeah. Oh wow, she has a, oh she has yeah, a I'm not gonna say anything right now. She but has a on. um uh range sword. attack? Wow. Yeah, she has the Sonic's sword, which is a ranged sword. What? Okay. Did you at least get out of the tutorial? The chant? I skipped it. No, Mike. Oh, Mike. What was that? Sorry. Did you at least get out of the like 10 hour tutorial zone? Yeah. The tutorial is like Kingdom Hearts level. <laughs> I mean, Something just, like that. You have to end up sitting around exploring because you're a fucking maniac. I mean, I've been sit I've been mostly exploring and kind of doing whatever. I have quite literally just been running around doing nothing of value to myself. Well, Assassin's Creed is technically open world. Um, obviously, it gets it gets bigger and bigger. I think um, Assassin's Creed Floor, uh, 4 Black Flag is one of the biggest Assassin's Creed games ever. I think. Lies. Huh? That's a lie. Just because everybody's like, oh, it's this. You can sail the ship. It's so big, it's like, no, it's not. It's really tiny. I've heard is all. I have, it's like, it's funny enough. I actually, um, there was a competition I heard uh, ha that I was on, like, on destructroid.com. They're kind of like a video game news site. Uh, sure. They, um, they basically provided, like, uh, did a competition where you could win a... Assassin's Creed Black Flag uh, art book, and I entered that. You no, know, and I usually lose a lot of um, competitions, so I was just like, okay, whatever. I'll just I'll do it anyway. Um, and I end up winning that competition. It was like, oh, okay. It's like I guess I have this now. Is it a bigger map than Breath of the Wild? Black Flag 
is extreme. It's not extreme. It's it's old. It's like it's not like a decade old, but it's like close, getting close to a decade old at this point. I think it came out in 2014. Am I right? You have to you have to remember, Black Flag only got made because everybody was like, "Oh man, I really love this uh, small part of Assassin's Creed 3 where I'm just." the captain of my own ship i'm out on the seas doing little missions with it i want more of that and that's how assassin's creed black flag got made mm. also Craig, do not get me started with the uh, breath of the wilds they've all heard my rant yep i mean you ranted during like breath breath of the wilds like even breath of the wilds um true true oh my playthrough of it <laughs> Uh, here we go. I mean, I'm hoping Breath of the Wild 2 is a lot better. That's all. I hope it's linear. Because I'm going to throw my fucking Switch out the game. I hate when games sell themselves on a big map. I've played so many games with big maps that it's just empty, little none points of entrance. I think one of the best games ever created is. Um, yeah, he went on a Breath I've... of the Wild rant for multiple reasons. All valid, though. I do not like Breath of the Wilds. It does a lot of things wrong that the genre has done right for many years. And no, and nobody tell me, oh, but Nintendo is doing it for the first time. Because Nintendo had years to research their shit. And Breath of the Wilds always feels empty to me. Sounds What's that? Like oh, Pokemon. another enemy that I've already killed a hundred fucking times. There's no variation. There's no variety. It's just the same fucking enemy every fucking time that you use the same goddamn weapon you break every time to do the thing. All the boss fights are the same, and there's only, like, four. Well, technically five, if you want to fight again. Sure, but you can just basically s cheese the game. You can just use all the things wrong. I don't know. It's just... Breath of the Wilds doesn't appeal to me because it's always just the same boring thing. You go do the puzzle. You get the thing. You upgrade your heart piece. That's all you do. There's nothing more to it. There's no progression. It doesn't feel like you're progressing. The game says it has a hidden EXP tracker, but all it does is throw the same variety of enemies with different colors at you. They just have more health, and for some reason they smack like a bitch to you, and you die, like, instantly. You can tell yes, them they've been training. the combat. It's not that I don't like the change. I'd be fine with Breath of the Wilds if there were more people to interact with, if there was more quests to do, if it didn't all feel like there's only one big quest, everything else is just a fucking waste of time. There are a lot of limitations to it, the, the, their current um, style, that's for sure. The OG Zelda is technically... Yeah. True enough. True enough, yeah. It but it wasn't big order. enough to be annoying. You could do it in, like, a sit-down. Which is one of the good things why I like NES games is that they you could just literally play them and you could beat them in, like, one sitting if you know what you're doing. I'm not trying to say your game is bad because I like Twilight Princess, to be fair. I'm just saying... Breath of the Wilds does a lot of things bad, in my opinion, that a lot of other open world games have fixed from the start. Mm -hmm. Everyone has different opinions. Well, yeah, one thing about like a lot of Breath of the Wild is that, uh, like, it's just like any up open world games, is that I do like the. Amount of like one thing Breath of Wild I did appreciate is the amount of choices you can do with a lot of things. So that's definitely one. Oh, you can reinforce now. I think. Also, yeah, Matt's right. Uh, nothing does beat uh, GTA for it's just random everything. Yep, GTA is packed full of a lot of things. 
Also, like how Craig's like, I've never heard this opinion before. It's like, because a lot of people don't want to go against the grain because they saw one YouTuber get flayed for it alive. It's the it's it's basically the Nintendo fanboys for the most part. That's the problem, Craig. A lot of people protect Nintendo blindly without fully thinking of the actual critical feedback, which is valid and not just I hate Nintendo. That's what a lot of people do when they uh, don't express their opinions. Not like it's they don't uh, hate Breath of the Wild, it's just that they're afraid of saying it publicly. Also, yeah, John, I actually just did like, play... It's just the same way with Pokemon. Yep, same same thing. Pokemon, Smash, either one. If you attack a big franchise, people will flock at you. But I actually did... Oh, oh yeah, he's attacking. Uh, I actually did... Um, do I did do a playthrough of uh Twilight Princess not too long ago for the first time because that's my first traditional Zelda game and it was actually very interesting. I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Nick, you wanna know a really cheesy way you can do this? Um I was thinking of bringing him towards me. Well, you've already got brought him towards you. Uh you wanna know the one thing that archers can't do? What? can attack at one range. Yeah, I remember that. I know that. It's just like he's going to keep moving each time, though. Do you know what you can do to make him just stop moving? What? Just put three characters around him because he's against the wall. Oh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I, I swear to God, it's the stupidest thing, but you can do it. Uh, I need to get you back out of here. Um, you know what? Uh, I'm going to do that. Oh. There's nothing stopping you, and Kanto's your friend here. Uh, let's see. Does Pokemon Blue count as open world? You can beat the 4 to 7 gym in any order. I would say tech... I think that's, like, technically loosely an open world, in a sense. Because, like, um, the first and second, you can count as, like, tutorials. Um, and as well as you can count, um... I should get rid of this guy because I which, don't like which him. Which one? This guy. This, blue? The guy who can use Blizzard. Oh, I mean, yeah, kill him. He's kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, because like, um, like, because like the term open world never came around until like around GTA's era. So, yeah, I would say I can count. I can see you can argue um, it being a open world game, to be honest. I mean, it lets you go around doing your own choices, basically. Yep. Yeah, no, and also no game is ever perfect. If anyone says a game is perfect in by any regards, I will flat out argue that uh, that is a oh, lie. Oh no, I have, I have one game that I think is near close to perfect, and uh, people hate me for saying it, but Dark Souls is <laughs> really good. Dark Souls it is a big does, fan game of it yours. It does what it is really well. And to be honest, a lot of games try to clone it and be like, oh, look, we're hard and edgy. And it's like, you just, you just missed the point. I mean, I, one thing about Red and Blue is like, why I say it's kind of uh, open world is just because of the your choice factor of you can go with any gym after the second gym. Right. So, in a sense, I would kind of say it's open world, but at the same time, it's not. But then you can also argue that the first and second gym are, like, tutorial section, which, by God, that's a very long tutorial section. I mean, to be fair, it kind of is, kind of isn't, because you go to certain gyms, you'll get your butt kicked because you're too underleveled, and there's no way to really grind without going to the other gyms to just... or just sit in the wild for, like, ever doing that. Mm hmm Which isn't fun some days. Mm-hmm. Because there's very few games I've noticed that make grinding a fun experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hollow Knight's actually really good. Hollow Knight I still like, need to play. I have it on my Switch, and I still have yet to play. That's why I'm like... I've been like trying to focus on what games I want to play for a little bit, but I've been mainly focusing on like the bigger games in my own free time, because those take a lot longer. I like longer. a series called Shadow Complex. I don't know if any of you have really heard of it. 
Inferno Complex? It's a Metro Blade, yeah. Oh, I could, I think. Uh, I think I've heard of it, actually. Yeah. It's really fun. You use guns more, though, so it kind of has that issue of you could just sit back and kind of laze through some stuff. Yeah, no, my opinion of Breath of the Wilds is I do not like the game. <laughs> Shadow Complex. Not um yeah. so it's uh it's it's a gun shooter, basically. Duty gun shooter, no, I believe. It's, it's it's Metroidvania style where it's side to side, you're going around collecting stuff. Yeah. Why would you ever use Rolf to ever talk to this guy? Because Rolf's really good if you actually put time into him. Which I haven't yet done at all. That's your choice. I can't stop you from doing that. Mm -hmm. I told you up front. It's I'm not gonna tell you which guy to pick. Mm -hmm. I'm Ike's right there. Oh, Rolf is a... Uh... So, uh, right. why does Ike have to beat him? Because Ike has to prove he's dominant now. Alright. Santo, smash. There's Aether. That's just a really cool animation that you're missing. I, I I saw the Aether animation. No, I meant in combat. You've turned it off, so you just see the world, the map combat stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I turn it back on? Eh, it takes time, but some of the animations are kind of cool. I can look it up, like, in my own time, because this just goes much faster. Uh, I used Rolf in a challenge run. He's actually really good. Get Aether. I mean, the thing is, is that this is literally, like, no joke, uh, John. This is my first ever playing a uh, Fire Emblem game in to this regard. I mean, I have, I have three houses, and I've gotten a little bit into, uh, into the game. But, um, I've never beat or gone to, like, really far into a Fire Emblem game ever in my life. So, Path of Radiance is, like, my very first uh, game in that regard. Um, and it's been an experience learning the ropes about it. So I'm kind of like, as Chris is doing, uh, playing in my own way while also giving me tips on how to beat certain things slash getting me characters that I would not have known without looking up or any help. No, there's, there's some ridiculous things this game throws at you. Mm. As you probably know, if you played it, uh, yep. that Nick probably wouldn't thing to expect yep like that shinon i would actually legit just kill him or it's like you probably would have just not him. even paid attention that he's on the map and killed him mm -hmm. i like even if i paid attention i would not know how to actually beat beat him you no, probably would have been exactly like everybody else on the internet go look up how to get shinon back jesus uh you're fighting the boss randomly yeah, I didn't think he would move. Uh, he's one of the only. Um, it's because of fights for his friends. Yep. Uh, I do have Radiant Dawn. I do. Um, and I do plan on playing it. Will I play it right after this? I finish this game? No, I'd like to take a little bit of a break between like, uh, Fire Emblems. Not Fire Emblems, but it's like any franchise. Uh, if there's multiple games in the series, I do try to play more of them just because I want to experience them in full. Don't worry, Nick. I'm here to make sure you have to know the story still. Yep. So it's been a while. It's like to give you a sense, John, uh, I've been playing this game uh, for 
uh, two years now, and I've already forgot a lot of the story. So it's one of those things that I'm just trying to get back into. But yeah, oh my, my, my destiny. Uh, also, hi, CJ. How you doing? How, how you been it's doing? One of those things where I've had to remind him at every turn what the story is. Yep. Even uh, though the game recaps it like every other chapter. Yeah. Um, hope you've been doing well, CJ. You say, well, yeah, I guess inconsistent translation. I'm just gonna see who. who... The Ooh. boss, by the way, is really stupid fast and has a really good attack that's good against flyers. Yeah, I will finish him off with. I forget her name. What's her name? I don't know. Jill has your full guard. So she's immune to whatever he throws. Yeah, but the problem is, is Jill is decently low on health. Fair enough. That's why I'm just like, eh. As much as I could use Jill right now, I don't want to risk it right as of right now. Fair enough. Mm, translation. I mean, what's what's inconsistent translation for this game? What's been uh, uh, the Rolf conversation makes a lot more sense for Shinon because there's a lot more context there. Actually, probably I can't remember fully, but I've not I've looked into translations of this game for times time. There's a lot of stuff the game really just does not tell you. Mm. That's like it just kind of sucks for that. Um, also, kind of tired. Well, I'm glad that your the day is mostly over at the very least. But I hope you feel better, man. Take uh take as long as the rest of you ever need, for sure. Get this guy out of here. Hate that guy. But yeah, um, I just want—I just wanted to explain that uh, on play th playthroughing uh, Fire Emblem because yeah, it, it, I, I get it. Like, it, there's certain choices that would be more efficient slash better characters to use. And I'm pretty sure I missed a few, uh, according to what Chris has been saying. Uh, why am I using Wolf? For, what? for recruitment? Uh, not recruitment for using characters on the battlefield. Oh no, you've made your choices to your army. I'm, I'm saying like I didn't use the most efficient one or something like that. There's no efficient army in this game. Well, then, like, your personal choices, then. How about that? Sure, but those are my choices. Mm-hmm. It's your playthrough. Yep. But, um, I just, I'm just, like, trying to play this and see how it goes. Um, but I do, I do plan to play more Fire Emblem in the future. Because I do want to see more. Awakening is one of them I do want to, uh, try playing. And, and then Radiant Dawn is obviously a sequel to this game, so I'll, I will be playing that. I would. You get a lot more uh, idea of what the fuck's going on. The main stream today, but I opted against it. Dude, yeah, um, make sure you take a rest, man. Like, uh, streaming takes a lot, like, a lot of time. Like, I was debating whether I want to try streaming today or not due to the fact that Comcast was very bad to me last night. So I decided, but I decided, like, why not give it a try? My internet has been decently fine uh, today, so... Also, since this is, like, the only night Chris gets to stream with you. Yep. Although, don't ever factor me in for that. I mean, for the most if, if part... You need if you need rest, Nick, please do not worry about me. Yeah, I know, but, um, I just, like, it. it is one of the only rare times that we get to hang out, to be honest. I mean, if you want to hang out ever... Just let me know. Hang out every day. I don't really care. I don't know about that. Jamie might get upset with you. Jamie? I mean, as long as it's not too late. Uh, some of the term terms in this game makes no sense with RD in mind. Uh, some lines, certain characters were added in English translation and ruined the personality of the characters. The whole, uh, whole, the way certain other things were translated. Time to work on retranslating patch and fix the terminology and weird writing. Yeah. I mean, that make that get I, I I get that. That makes sense. Um, translate. I think that this was during the era where um they would make certain translation choices over others for sure. 
Uh, it's a little odd. Um, definitely um, not uh, always great, but at the same time, uh, this was during an era where like actual subbing and all that stuff with uh, games were not that big. So, and this Did game wasn't that... Can... Hmm? Did you forget that you have physics, by the way? I do have physics, but I also want to get closer to Jill. Oh, you can do the Kanto trick. What is the Kanto trick? Because Raisin's tra transformed. He can dance for four people. So I... you can Kanto people next to him and he can dance. How do you... Okay, so I get next to someone and what do I do? So... so... No, no, no. Just don't move Raisin. Alright. Uh, you have three units on mounts who can move after they move, yep. after they attack or something. Yep. So they can do something for you. So what do I do? What do I have to do? So make them attack. All right, make them attack. Uh, Not racing. Racing can't do anything besides dance. Yeah. Okay, so I'm attacking. Uh, yes, you can dance. Yep. You dance what you want to. I don't know. Kill whatever you want. I'm trying to figure out which one would be better to kill right now. Any of them? I don't really care. You know, while you I guys care. sit there and play that, I might actually think about playing Pokemon TCG. Go for it. Uh, all I did today was play Smash with Kraid and then post a uh, shower selfie on Twitter. Hey, heck, that's uh, good enough. Also, what do I do now? I killed someone. Then you move did. back right next to Raisin. All right. And I wait. Yeah. All right. I do it with someone else. Uh oh. Eh. Okay, so you can actually move Raisin up to dance, so you can put her like up top or not. I did up top. No, but you have to leave a spot so racing can be in the middle of the wall. I was gonna put him in the middle over here. Or, or I can move just I can just no. move Ike. Right? I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about, but just, yeah, you can probably well I can't canto, but you can move Ike and just stop him and tap him do the thing. Yep. Just to show you what's going on. Yep. Uh, also, Racing, by far the best dancer in this in the series. Also, that's when you ripped your uh, not <laughs> ripped your uh, game controller. No, uh, that's what happened to your game controller. That's what's during that day. Got it. All right, so move him where Ike is. So basically, use Ike up here. Power armor? I found power armor. I don't know what power armor. Oh, you found power armor. Got it. <laughs> Out with old and in with new, I suppose. Meant to be. I mean, all controllers, no matter how much you use them, will eventually break. Chant. Poggers. Wait, okay, so Jill can't get it. Hmm. No. That's what I was saying about the middle part needing to be open. Oh, so the middle part has to be open. So if I moved, um, if I moved her right here and then put, um, uh, him up of one, then it would work. Basically, oh. if he's was, he, if he had been where Jill was, mm -hmm. it would have worked. Okay. Oh, I can see. I think I know where I have to be then. It's a little weird. Yeah, I know what you mean. Wow, my mounts are really at it today. I guess I could have had Soren here. Hmm. Whatever. 
I'm getting a headache. Ooh. Dude, Katsumi. Oh, you, no, it's, I'm glad it's not for me, but dude, Katsumi, get some rest if you're getting a headache. Or I hope it's not like any serious headache. Is it like a migraine or something? Like, I kind of forgot you had two units just sitting back there doing that. Yep. Maybe I should move them a little closer. I don't know. But Oscar you know what, and like we... Mordecai are like really... <laughs> um. You know what could be funny in this scenario? What? You know how Tanith has that reinforced thing you haven't hit yet? Uh, yeah. Do that. Alright. Does she have to be close to the enemies or not? Hmm? Where do I have to place her? Who would we recommend at least? Where would I recommend? Doesn't matter. They spawn on your spawn. Oh, they respawn on my spawn. Got it. Call for help. Do I get to control them? Uh, you can use Ike's ally commands. Oh, so that's how you do it. Got it. One of these things is really funny. Uh, physics. Hi, headache. I'm I'm CJ. <laughs> so I see James. Is Kyle done? Uh, I... he's playing a bird story. Yeah, but is he done with it yet? No. Ah. Is Kyle not coming? He is. Probably. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I know that Grace and Emoto are like over there watching a bird story, which is basically just a visual movie, to be honest. Can I point out you should really be careful with uh, Titania? Because she's really good. She can die. I, I forget. I, I'm too used to Titania like being so good. Your unit of choice. <laughs> My bad. Titania best girl. Titania best girl. That's not an inaccurate statement. Who is? Especially people <clears throat> by. Huh? What's up? Oh, uh, what were you gonna say first? Oh, I was gonna say that's not a wrong statement according to the community. Do they really just like her that much? She's really good. No, then again, she is really, really good. Yeah. Um, I was gonna ask. Uh, do I have all the characters? Uh, in in Path of Radiance, I'm assuming I'm missing like probably like a few more kind of thing, based on like yeah. how. Yeah. No, you have like ten more to go. Ten more? Yeah. That's like almost a chapter. One per chapter. Well, actually, I know. Wait, it's like twenty-seven. So that means wait. This is chapter 18. I I may be underselling it. You may have 15 or so. I don't remember. 15? Properly. Yeah, there's a lot of people. I was saying one per chapter. Not my fault. What is this? I... Uh, choices, my dear Nick. Uh, this is what happens when somebody doesn't play Fire Emblem and doesn't know what to expect. But then again, is this, uh, that's not in three houses where you can recruit people. It's you can only recruit everybody. No, no, I'm saying like on the field. Three houses, you already meet everybody, but in like they're in separate home, like houses. You can recruit everybody, yeah, I know three that. Houses, three houses is that weird thing going on, but this is everybody's kind of a field recruit or something. Is, is this, uh, on field recruit, uh, was a thing like even in Awakening and stuff? This was from the very start. Well, but it's like it's still an awakening. Three houses is just the oddball out now. Three, three houses is the oddball out. You are right. Okay, so then it, it this is so so this field thing was is just a, a thing for like ever. Yeah, you're just you're acting like it's something weird. It's not. It's been there since the beginning. Three houses is weird for not having it. 
Then again, this is coming from a guy who only played two Fire Emblem games in his life. Indeed. And then one of them is the oddball out. Heck, I haven't even seen anything Fire Emblem related, to be honest, outside of trailers and a little bit of the anime. Watch the anime. I watched the opening cutscene of the anime. Oh. Dude, I should just really get that VHS of the Fire Emblem and then just be like, Chris, want to watch to have a movie night just watching this together? <laughs> Do not make me watch that. I, I would want you to sit down and watch a movie night with me, Chris. We haven't had a one-on-one -on -one together. Do not make me watch the anime. <laughs> Please, Chris. I... maybe. <laughs> I'm like a little child. It's just like, Chris, please. Also, it's a route, so you have to kill everybody over by Oscar and Mordecai. Oh, yeah, no, I I, I was just like wondering um, if there's anybody else is all. Mm, now it should just be those two idiots. Yep. Uh, that, that person is dead. I'm just, uh, I'm just wondering if I can kill this person with anything. Nope. Well, looks like I'm just gonna have to have the others kill them. Kill them for me. Fair enough. Like, I do like that you did call the reinforcements, and I... It's just so funny to me. <laughs> Don't I like, have to wait? Pegasus... What? It's just like, here, three Pegasus Knights on the field. One yeah. Of, which is really good, because they're promoted. And then, don't I have to, like, wait for, like, three turns or something? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? No, uh, they just show up. No, but don't I have to wait three turns before I should I can call reinforcements. Nah, you can do a turn one. Oh really? Hmm. Yeah. And they can stay, never and not they a reason stay, to have them. And then stay on the field for like ever. Until, until they, die. they die. Hmm. Yeah, there's never not a reason to use it turn one. That is such a weird thing, but <laughs> that's that's funny. No, the weird thing is she's the only character with that skill. Is she the only character in existence with that skill? Yes. Actually? Yeah, and the sad part is she loses that in Radiant Dawn. That is if she doesn't die. But then again, Radiant Dawn is a completely separate... They didn't do like a check your save file to uh, see what characters live. Kind of like what Mass Effect did with its choices. Yes, they do. Do they actually? Yeah. A bunch of characters are unkillable in this game, technically speaking. So wait, does that mean that if I play this on my actual Wii, which has the GameCube cartridges, would that mean that it, it would actually just, would check it? You just need the memory card. So it would actually check it. Yeah, you get uh, bonuses for using certain characters and having them capped at twenty. Hmm. Do you recommend you me doing that? Do you recommend me doing yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. Great, now you're telling me I have to pull out my Wii to do that temporarily, launch the game, create the save file, and then just, like, move that save file onto my Wii U so I don't have to use my Wii. I guess. You have to use... Have... It, it, it just needs the memory card, my guy. Yeah, but the Wii U doesn't have a memory card slot for GameCube. Can you play Wii games on the Wii U? Yep. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's why I use my Wii U, because it's, like, HD... And it, it, it it's better and easier because I can play Wii U games. Yeah, I would have kept a shit ton more games mm -hmm. had I known that. Oh yeah, Wii U can. Uh, transferring a Path of Sign to Radiant Dawn unlocks a lot of cool stuff in Radiant Dawn. Oh, Grace, great, great, great. Uh, I guess I got I gotta have to pull out my Wii. It's buried. It doesn't unlock a lot of cool stuff. It unlocks a lot of stuff that you can find on the internet now, but it does give you transfer bonuses to all of your characters. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, that if it, it to the final encounters. If it makes it a uh, game slightly easier slash better, uh, I will do it. It's just, uh, it just, it just, that's just like, oh my god, it's so so much things like I have to just go through to that. I mean, no, it doesn't change the game. I know it doesn't, but it unlocks some stuff which. I'm curious what it unlocks, because I don't know. 
Of course, my there's the, the one, there's the, the stream one for stream card pack opening. Did you? Well, did card you? Pack for this kid again? Mike did, did you guys redeem think again. I wouldn't do it? Maybe I shouldn't have told him that. Uh, I'm only gonna do it once every stream, pal. Uh, but yeah, I just I'm... like how Nick has to keep a card pack for you just for this. I am gonna turn it off if I run out of card packs. That's a thing. So that will that will be off for whenever I run you out. You know what? I'll do one every weekend. How about that? One every weekend, sure. That works better. Yeah, that because then that will at least last me the whole year because I don't have that many card packs left. Uh, I won't talk about the specific conditions you need to fulfill, but there's a certain secret event that has crazy conditions in this game or in Radiant Dawn. Do you know what he's uh, talking about? I think I know what he's talking about. Is it in Radiant Dawn or Ra a Path of Radiance? I'm not gonna say, but it's really stupid. I mean, is it? It's. It sounds stupider than getting she Sheen on. Sheon. There's. It's, uh, it requires a lot of setup, and you really need to know how to play the game to do it. Mhm. Mm so also, this this cutscene never appear if I. Uh, this means that this cutscene wouldn't appear if I didn't do the conditions right. Right? Correct. Shit on be dead and I'd be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Except Not I do want to get all the characters as well as keep all the characters to the end. So, because I want to see this whole game experience wise. Nick, I really wish you hadn't said that. Why? Because you're going to make one of these chapters. I remember really playing uh, one of the Fire Emblem games and. There's the part of the epilogue where it's like, oh, this is what everyone did after the game. But, like, it gets to the characters that are dead, and it's just like, oh. <laughs> Wait, yeah, they does died. that? James, did you kill, like, almost a half your cast? Um, I forgot which one I played, but uh, it was the last mission. A couple people died because you're, like, it's like, oh, here's uh, six tier S enemies that are you're fighting. And then here's another six of them, and here's another six of them. Also, yeah, Nick, that that's absolutely what happens. Oh, I did not know that. Oh, I'm gonna look forward to not k killing everybody. <laughs> um, I forgot which one it was. Um, it's basically or... like here's an epilogue of what the characters go to do now that the war is over. Also, I heard I heard what you said, uh, Chris. I'm I'm gonna I look forward to your help in completing that chapter, whatever, whenever it is. I want to say it's like either this chap, the next chapter, or the chapter after it, and I'm. Don't remember which. Uh, we'll see. I know what it looks like. I know what chapter it is. Just. Oh, CJ Stealth vanishes out of the chat. All right. Thanks for joining, CJ. Uh, but uh, John says it's both game. It's both games. You need to have a certain thing in P O R R to transfer that to R D. Then fulfill the. Con oh, so you can't even do the said condition inside R D. If you don't complete P.O.R. Really? That's kind of... That, well, I wouldn't say that's kind of lame, but it's also kind of like... Eh, uh, limiting to a lot of players because Path of Radiance is like another game they need to play from a previous generation, to be honest. But then again, didn't Path of yeah, Radiance come out... Yeah, but they expected you to have to do, done it already in the game. But isn't Path of Radiance like... Wasn't that came out near the end of the GameCube era? No, because it's a Wii game. No, no, not Path of Radiance. Uh, no, no, not Radiant Dawn. Like Path of Radiance is what I'm asking. Mm, like middle. Middle. Mm, it's still they expected people to have it. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that kind of decision making. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Yeah, but you weren't the initial market for this game. I know I'm not the initial market, but like when it comes to certain decisions where it's like you need a previous game in order to unlock another game. I kind of get it when if it's like a current generation kind of thing. But if it's like a previous generation game, it's just I'm not the biggest fan of that type of stuff, really. I'm I'm really not the biggest fan. Especially oh. since like I know like I'm not counting the market value of Path of Radiance right now with Radiant Dawn slash like getting the GameCube and all that stuff. I'm not counting that. I'm talking about like the 
GameCube and Wii games specifically. It was really no, but they still expect you to have played Path of Radiance on a GameCube, which is uh, they you need to get a game which was out of production. If it was like in mid, like near the end of the Wii, which it was still in production, it would make a little bit more sense. I know the Wii is backwards compatible. The problem is, is that they expect you to play have a game that as out of production discontinued uh to ha play before radiant dawn it's i'm not i'm just not the biggest fan of those types of decisions it's a minor thing but i'm still not a big fan of that so by a previous game to um wait do you mean like having to do multiple playthroughs of a game do you need like three playthroughs of uh radiant dawn to see everything Radiant isn't uh it said isn't you say Path of Radiance was like came out in two thousand four? Sure, and it requires two playthroughs to see everything. Yeah, Path of Radiance came like that. If it came out like in two thousand four, that's definitely discontinued by two thousand eight. Uh, John, that's for sure. I don't. I highly doubt they would still have copies of Path of Radiance in like brand new condition. Also, I'm not entirely sure what random John Smith is talking about because I'm trying to think, and I'm like, uh. The specific instance I can think of requires something in one of the games, not both. Path of Radiance was released in 2005. Well, that's still, in a sense, they would discontinue it after like a couple years at most. I've seen games like discontinue after like a couple years. Especially back in the day. I've known back in the day games just don't last as long as like today's age of games, especially with digital with you nick what happens if you come to a franchise late and can no longer get the older one that's also that thing depending on region yep i'm just over here trying to think of what she's referencing because that does yeah awesome yeah it's like the previous generation things like i know this is like minor so it's nothing too bothersome in my opinion when it comes to like if it's not like main story or like something like extra story content in a sense um it's like a little unlockable when Sundering games, and I think that's relatively okay. I'm still not the biggest fan of it, but when it comes to like extra story lore, extra little stuff, or make it easier on yourself to play a game, I'm that makes it a little bit more irksome to me. But that's also yeah. my personal opinion about um, games back in the day. I still, it just makes it really hard when it's a previous generation game, they ask you to get that um, in order to experience more of said game. I'm, I just, it just, it, it just kind of ruins some experiences. I'm not, I don't know what he's referencing, but I'm trying to think. I should know what it is. Yeah, I'm not, if it's extra like it's story just... stuff, yeah, I'm more, I'm not okay with it for the most part. Because all I know is Reading Dawn has a few set of things within the chapters of the game itself that are kind of obscure but beyond that i don't remember path of radiance's save file really interacting much with the game um is it something that you can look up easily probably obviously i don't want to look up because that would just spoil some story aspects i'm pretty sure even if i try but carefully i'm pretty sure there's like pictures and stuff online that would just be like oh hey this character died and whatnot or something like that I'm, a, I'm just glad that m almost like all the Fire Emblem games are really disconnected with each other. Like their own little entities in the in their own little world. Roy only had like one game. I'm, I'm like Roy only got into me Melee because his game was coming out, right? I don't actually know. That's one thing is like if Roy's uh, character would not only was like, wasn't he? Was he the main character in his game? I mean, it would make sense because Marth and Ike are the main characters in their games, respectively. I mean, I get why Marth is in Smash is because uh, he's the f he's the first of the um, of the game of the game franchises, first hero. 
Ike was mm. like released during the time, like is this like uh, John said, 2007 to eight. That was when Brawl was coming out for sure. Make her anything? Yes, the worst Lord ever. Was they he? should give Boyd a chance to shine in Smash. <laughs> Dude, boy. Or Titania. Like, I bet, I don't know, I'm sure, I don't know, I'm sure people would go for that. Dude, boy, you didn't smash, I would, I would main him any day. But, um, yeah, I heard Roy was, like, absolutely the worst character in his game, respectively. So, it's just like, I mean, using Ike, he's not that bad. I, I mean, I've gotten close to death and I killed him a couple times uh, in my playthrough for sure. But that was also mainly because I was being stupid slash I did not know what I was doing fully. Uh, so that would be more so on my end. Ike is actually pretty good. <laughs> we like Ike. Yep. I, I do we like, like Ike. Ike. We like Ike. We like Ike. We like Ike. I do like Ike using in Brawl. I just don't get it. Why did they pick Roy? To be in melee it's just i mean i'm assuming it's just to promote his game coming out in japan at the very least because he was at least no. considered to be taken out like just like marth in the uh, international release of melee also it's funny how smash brothers is literally like a became a um i keep forgetting but i i i like how smash is is a franchise where if your character gets in it's like a free, big uh, advertisement for your uh, game series. It's like how Shulk became, like Shulk Xenoblade Chronicles game became such a huge hit because Nintendo put him into Smash 4 and then Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii became such a hot selling game for a while. I'm really feeling it. Yeah, and it's also funny enough, Pyra and Mithra getting into, getting into Smash now, I've seen like all people on, internet just be like there there's a xenoblade chronicles 2 game what so it's kind of funny how it just be like it's free advertisement same thing with fire emblem like no one knew what fire emblem uh what what the fire emblem franchise was until melee came out it's and free real estate <laughs> it's free real estate literally funny we never got a game the game roy is, is an official channel we got the next game which is a prequel to world game which is funny because Roy never gets a actual official English release, and yet Marth finally gets an English release, release, and then Roy doesn't. But then again, maybe Nintendo might consider translating every single Fire Emblem game from here on out if they finally translated the first one. Because there's a few NES ones, and then they can do like what they're doing with uh, Lua to translate on the fly with many of the games officially. Which is, I think it's really nice. I think it's really cool. Um, I always thought that uh, Roy's game actually did come out in the West for some reason. But then again, I guess I was wrong because Chris keeps correcting me on that. Who's there? I mean, just looking it up. Uh, Ike is not the best sword, by the way. B best sword? No, Ike is not the best lord in the series. Oh, in the series. I mean, I still like Ike. It's not even Roy or... Roy is actually a really terrible character. In game or like in the game mechanics or story wise? game mechanics. He's okay. like the worst of the lords. Why did... I guess like because he's a lord, they put him into melee. And yeah, he's I one of the better know. characters to play as in, in Smash Brothers. Uh, no, you've never played FE4 because uh, unfortunately Sigrun is the best lord. Why? Because Sigrun starts as a, as a fucking paladin. So he starts off extremely strong. He starts out on a mount with access to both swords and lances. He's just that character who's a monster from the start and can solo his entire series by himself. 
Wow. He's basically if you he's basically a titanium on steroids. And he's good for the entire game. He's good for anything he wants to do. He's like the best weapon from the start. I'm just like, it's ridiculous. Nasir and Soren are basically telling each other they can keep their secrets. Nasir and Soren? Yep. Yo, Digits like... BB. Hello. Baka raid. Digits Baka raid. You got baka I got baka But Grace didn't space out her uh, sentences. So it's just like, Digits Baka raid. Digits. Baka baka. Baka baka baka. How was a bird story, uh, you two? The, welcome to the Chris ranting at people f about games he does and doesn't like. Mm hmm. Baka 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 baka. Because I guess everybody wanted to know that Chris doesn't like Breath of the Wild still. Mm hmm. Uh, oh. by, by association, I really dislike uh, the stupid Hyrule Warriors 2. The, oh, Not because it's a bad game, but clamp. because it just chooses to finally tell you the story that it probably should have told in the first place. No, it doesn't. Have no, you seen... because they're like, oh no, we're going to re-dramatize the story, so, I, so we actually win the battle, and you guys don't have to be sad. I'm like, fuck off. Spoilers. It's not even a spoiler, that's just what they do. You'd think they were going to tell you the story of Link dying and losing the fight against Ganon and make you be like, oh man, I feel so bad, I could have won this if I was better. And it's like, no, because that's not the story. It's like, okay, then we'll just change the story. It makes me upset that they made a non-canon now. It is not canon, and they're like, oh, it's going to be canon. It's like, no, it's not, because you're going to be canon. Canon Ganon? Cannon Ganon, yep. Like, this is the story we needed, and you motherfuckers can't tell us that. I mean, I played through the entire game, and it's not worth the 60 bucks. If you guys are really big fans, it's only worth if you're big fans of Hyrule Warriors and a bit interested into like some of the new cutscenes in Breath of the Wild, which I do think the cutscenes are kind of worth some of the price points, but not all of it. It's repetitive, it is a drag, and my god, they made an expansion pass for it, so now I have to reinstall that freaking game to even play more of that thing, because I 100% I the entire game, and my god, now I have to re-100% it again. And what they do? Add more characters. They're adding more characters, they're adding more s plots and stuff, and just, ah! It's like, my problem becomes, what's the point? You've already ruined Breath of the Wild's initial story by being like, Oh no, but that doesn't happen because we don't want you to be sad. I'm like... Those games should... I, I, it's like, I knew they would do that because they obviously couldn't tell the actual Breath of the Wild story. But at the same time, just tell the fucking story. Mm -hmm. And I, I do know that the game should be like $40. It's not... It's like about $40 or maybe like 30 but more so 40 seems about right. It's just, oh my god, it's like, it's, it's not, it's nothing too great about it. There's nothing to write home about it. It's exactly what you expected of this story. Yeah, I, game. I bought it just so because I like to see more Breath of the Wild cutscenes with interaction of the characters. I actually did like the characters a little bit, but they showed barely any of it. So what I did, I just bought it so I can see it. But it became to a point where I had to grind on multiple enemies and multiple things just to complete certain things. There were some missions where you have to kill certain enemies in either a certain amount of time, don't get hit, or like within the limited amount of health you have. Like, they made it absurdly difficult for some of them that it's not worth even attempting 100%. Like if you even if you want to attempt 100%, good luck. I don't recommend it. It's like one of the worst 100% games I've ever done. 
Oh no, the completionist uh, did the original Hyrule Wars and he's like, never, never do this. Oh yeah, no, I've seen I've seen him talk about it like straight up. Age of Calamity, never do that 100%. I mean, granted, I did it without doing any foods that boost your stats and stuff like that. And I played it on normal, not on like the hardest difficulty. But then again, normal is what a lot of people would do. Yeah. So, no, if you if you want 100% that game, I'd rather say 100% a, a different game twice than do Age of Calamity. Because Aglegia Calamity has got so much of a drag later on that it would just became just a m not a fun thing. But then I'm also not a big fan of hack and slash games. Uh, I find it, I just found it de decently enjoyable to just go through the main story and some of the missions. That's it. But other than that, it just became such a complaint in the end for me that I just stopped enjoying it. I wasn't going to really enjoy it because I knew the story would completely invert what we already knew of Blur of the Wilds and completely make the original game pointless. It basically made a separate timeline. Yeah, it just like pissed me off because it's like, why? Why bother making the first game then if you're just going to say no to the second game? Uh, have you guys played XCOM? Listen, James, uh, XCOM has uh, its own problems and I'm not getting into that today. Yeah, XCOM's timeline is... Uh, interesting. <laughs> James, I'm well aware that XCOM's like, hey, you won in the first game. No, you fucked up in the first game. You lost horribly, you son of a bitch. And it's like, what? I thought I was doing great. It's like, nope, you lost. You starting to be beach. Yep. As also, Fez would put it. <laughs> well, his, as who would put it? Fez. Who's Fez? That 70s show? You know, I've never Son watched it. He said it be beach. Yeah, I never watched that. <laughs> I forgot that Oscar was a creamy, creamy knight at one point. So was Titania. Who in the world's Kieran? Kieran's... I'm not going into this conversation again with anybody. We rescued Kieran from a prison. He's a Crimean knight who was helping escort Alincia and got captured. Oh, that's right. I got him like halfway through the game, I believe. And then at some point you figure out that he also knows Oscar and they had a rivalry going because they're the red and the green cavalier unit. So they always have a rivalry. The cliche. Uh, it's just the a bunch of the characters are all stereotypes of other characters in the series. Mm hmm There's Shion. Oh, Shion's with Gatry and uh, Rolf. Hmm. All right, let's see Gatry. Gatry has such fine hair, considering the fact he wears a helmet as as often as he's on the battlefield. He's great. Shion, considering the fact he has a ga gapping wound. Impossible. He's, per he's perfectly fine. <laughs> if you buy me dinner tonight, ah, oh, I see they're going on a date. Somebody's thirsty. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we get some thirsties in the chat. I don't know if I, I don't have a thirsty me. Oh, then I have to hydrate me. Hydrate. 
Ew, why would you put snake oil on yourself? Snake oil refer in this scenario refers to um the whole uh devil's brew uh fast talking rambling guy is trying to sell you something before you even know what you're trying to buy. Mm. Fast talking. Oops. Not yeah, we didn't we didn't help at all. Oh, time to see what Rolf is. Uncle Shinnan? Really? Also, isn't Shinnan at this point uh pretty uh useless? Mm, debatable. He comes with a brave bow, which is extremely good. Uh, it's really up to you to use them if you want. <laughs> Shinon takes very little time to reinvest into them. Ah, okay. That's all I will say to Shinon. When They don't even have a crying face for Rolf. They just have him as eyes closed. Oh man, there's a three. Hmm. I take it there's a five star too? A five star? Conversation? No, it only goes up to three. Hmm. The only reason this is an important conversation is it gives you an idea of what Jill likes to stay with. Yep, yeah, missed. Who are you? Oh, horror. Shir 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 Hmm. Yeah, I know. He's got a long name. Hmm. So that a little bit back. So this is a little bit of backstory okay. as well. Yep. Backstories. I'm Two assuming that I to give you an idea of what might help as information in the future as well as har i'm assuming i can recruit har absolutely hardy har har because he seems like a, a reasonable person so that definitely feels like it reasonable and a opponent you do not want mm. they eavesdrop Missed. I didn't think he would be an eavesdropping type. I guy can understand, but <laughs> missed. Such a good girl. All right, what's the three brothers? Oh, Boyd! He gets finally some talking. Uh, this is the triangle attack. Yeah, yeah. This one, I need Rolf on the field. Sure, it's kind of pointless. This triangle attack, though. Well, if you didn't, since you didn't invest in Rolf, it kind of it's pointless. I mean, I can invest with him now. So, I guess. Is Rolf He's... better than Shinon if I invest in him? Uh, kind of. I believe Rolf ends up with a better stat line, but the problem is he's not promoted and it's going to take you forever to get there. Yeah, I can get there. 
Boy can use a bow. Boy as a warrior can automatically gains access to bows. Hmm. I never use them with bows. Yeah, because you just promoted him to a warrior. You didn't pay attention to that. You got a bow. Yeah, I don't pay attention to a lot of those things. Uh, let's see by myself. No. <laughs> 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 We're not gonna bit odd these days. Boy, it is odd. Mandolin, Manicot, Manifesto. Alright, well, I'll have Rolf in the next battle then. Have fun. Ike doesn't have manners. That's his, uh, that's why everybody likes him. There's no filter. Mm -hmm. Can, uh... Why does he look like an angel? Because he's a Lagoos who can turn into a hawk. He's like a birth person. He's like Mordecai, no, not Mordecai. He's like Leaf that can uh, transform immediately. Elki actually has a delay, if I remember right. He transformed immediately, like at the beginning of last chapter. Elki's the other hawk. Mm hmm. Also, you didn't put Loki on the map. Nope, I didn't. I don't like his face. Fair enough. Then again, you said Janef and Oki about the same. Mm, one favors uh, avoidance, one favors uh, hit. That's about it. Oki's uh, avoidance, right? Yeah. I'll try him next match. There's so many characters you just want to try, and there's not enough chapters or like scrimmages, like matches, just to try all of them. That's what all these multiple playthroughs are for. Do, do is like a new game plus where I get access to all the characters? Uh, New Game Plus gives you a bunch of other tools to help you along your way. But I don't get access to all the characters. I mean, you'll get all the characters. It's just how you want to use them. Okay, so New Game Plus is like it continues where I left off with all the characters and the stats. It's just uh, I just have to level them up the way I want. No, New Game Plus just starts you over in the story. But you have a bunch of new items to use, but you have to re-recruit everybody. Oh, re-recruit? Oh, okay, that's just annoying then at that point. Yeah, but then you know how to do it anyways. Hey, look, I got 420 experience. Nice. Nice. Oh. Rolf is getting some weed. Did Kyle forget to raid again? Probably. 
Yeah, he just did another highlight. It's called Baka Stream Hours. Alright. Uh... Let's see. Uh... Good, good, good. Uh, I think I can keep uh, physics until next uh, round. But I should... should be able to buy one at some point. Uh, I'll give it to Kieran. I, sh I, I should buy one right now, right? Is it in here? Or is it somewhere else? Is it shop? Oh no, I can't buy it. Yeah. I remember at some point, buy them. Alright, so I, I guess I can't buy them right now. Um, Should I give her some other one? Because Short Sword and Sonic Sword are running out. Yes, give her some stuff. Uh, Who should I give the, uh, the Tornado to? Or should I just save that? Tornado's good for Sauron. I think Sauron, the only problem with Sauron right now is that he is running low. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll just keep it off of Sauron for now. Uh, what should I give her? I missed Zosti's got a new record in Super Metroid 100%. I've been watching every day and just missed it. Oof. Sorry, man. Is that like a new world record or something? Uh, she uses swords, right? Who? Tanith? Yeah. Swords and spears. Lances. I'll give her a lance. Uh, I'll be taking... The Recover Staff and Silent Staff. Raisin is just a, a person I could just, um, storage unit, basically, right? Sure. Though I don't plan on using him a lot, to be honest. Why? He's really good. Do you think I should use him a lot more? Sure. Uh, I'll give Rolf a silver bow. Why not? All right, I'll just I'll make him like be. What should I What should I put in him? I could put in a physics. I don't know. Just give him whatever you think you might need to help. Hold on to. Uh, I'll have the Lagoo's bow and Killer bow because I have other people I can. Oh, Shinon has nothing? Yeah, you, he, he took the weapon off of him. Ike has his weapon. Ike does? Oh, wow. He does? Uh, yep. New world record. One hour, 12 minutes, 55 seconds. Ooh. Just the, about a second and a half faster than the previous record. Dude, that is awesome. It's, it's impressive how people nowadays are just getting faster and faster with their um, speed and time. Indeed. Should I give Boyd a bow in order to use that try attack? Well, he has to have a bow to do it. All right. Uh, I will take the. Uh, Killer axe off because I feel like the goose axe is gonna be better. I'll take the longbow. Uh, what's with the K? Like, you know, he can't use the longbow, right? Never mind. He oh, has. I thought he has the bows. He can only use the iron bows. 
you said K inside my Twitch chat. No, oh, because it shows on mine that um Fanta Yoshi was like, I'm just gonna hang in the background for now. I'm like That was wait, a what? long time ago. Apparently it was just yeah, I don't know what's going on with Twitch right now, on my end. Alright, Nick, I'm gonna get off Apparently for now. Apparently it's being stupid. Alright. Um, have a nice night, man. You too. Thanks for joining, man. Have a good night. Yeah. Have fun, guys. Yep, see ya. Yep. Alright, we're gonna be saving here, and then I'm gonna go to the next chapter before... Uh, I probably will save the cutscene for next time, so I'm just gonna check out everything, yeah. So chapter 19 is where we're at. Uh, I'm going to go with another chill game. So for the next game we're going to be playing tonight, we're going to go into some Abu's. Ab Abzu. Abzu. Yeah. Crazy. The crazy thing is... Oh, uh, hold on. Unless there are some new strats in Optimal, this might be not broken for a while. I mean, that's one thing about, like, some world records. Eventually, world records are just not going to be able to be broken at all due to the fact that they're just so, um, so hard to beat, I feel like. Hmm.